Hey guys, this is SC Survival Hunting. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Gamo Hornet 177 caliber pellet rifle. This rifle is, of course, what he said, a 177 caliber. So it's a little bit under 22 caliber um, ammo size. It's 1,200 feet per second. It is. It weighs 6.1 pounds. So it's not heavy. It's not heavy at all. It's probably a medium weight in the medium weight class. The length is 43.3 inches, which is a good length, so that means you're gonna have good accuracy with the barrel. The barrel length is 18 inches. The trigger pull, which is how much uh, pounds of force it takes to pull back the trigger, is 3.74 pounds. The trigger is a two-stage adjustable, which is what he's doing. And the safety of, is, of course, of the manual, which is the little metal piece in front of the trigger. The mount that it has for the scope is dovetail. Very, very universal type of mount. And my personally, I like it the most. I don't really care for the weaver mount. Never liked it. Uh, it's a spring brake barrel. So that means it's powered by str spring and no gas. And you pull down the barrel just like that. And then to put it back, you just cock it back up. Um, of course, the barrel's rifled, so you can have more supreme accuracy. Uh, this, the stock is an all-weather gray synthetic. Uh, synthetic, I like it a lot better because wood scratch is way too easy. Um, this rifle comes with a 4x32 scope. It's not a crappy scope, but it's not a good scope. And we are going to... We're going to upgrade the scope on this gun, and it comes with two-piece mounting rings, which is, of course, little mounting rings right under the scope. Yep. And the last thing is the recoil pad, which is what I like, is thick. It's thick and ventilated rubber, so it takes the shock mm -hmm. very well. Right, right here. And then this little pad right here is made to go on a shotgun, but um, I put it on my Benelli Ultralight shotgun, which we will be doing a review video uh, shortly and this pad did not fit on the butt so I thought I'll put it on here even though it does not help with the recoil and lastly it has buttstock is twin cheek piece which is ambidextrous so you can uh, put your face on either side of it if you shoot left-handed or right-handed so it's all good and that's all the specs with it so now let's tell you what all we've done with it. We have done many, many, many things with this pellet rifle. Uh, the very first day I got this pellet rifle, I took it out to a lake by my house. And the first thing I saw there was about a 12 pound pelican. And so, of course, what I do is I shoot this pelican. And a lucky shot, I got it on my first try because I had not even sighted the scope in. Nailed it right in the chest. Yeah. So, our first kill with this gun was a 12 pound pelican. Then the next thing we did was we got two water moccasins a few Wait, well, weeks later. Let me stop you there. Just so you know, you may be thinking, well, SC Survival, pelicans are illegal. Actually, no, they're not. They're not illegal. They're perfectly legal in our area of the United States to shoot and kill and eat. Yep.